central part of Newfoundland was an oceanic environment, okay, and it was deep ocean. That's what the central part of Newfoundland is. It represents some kind of ancient oceanic basin that got squashed up when the continents came together. And that's again, creating all the faults. Queensway, it's, it's one of these few exceptions where we have a well-preserved epizonal environment. The other place, of course, is in Victoria State. At Fosterville Mine, there is epizonal mineralization preserved there as well. Fosterville, they had a mine from surface down to the, the high grade, 800 meters or thereabouts. It was, it was down a ways. It took 20 years of mining to kind of evolve down into the high grade. This isn't the case at Queensway. These things are basically sticking their nose out of the ground at grassroots. Okay, so that's a wonderful metric to use. That's a big plus. 80 years ago, the old timers would have looked for an ounce per ton, which is 32 grams. Up in for the last, say, 15, 20 years, a gram per ton or a couple of grams per ton is ore grade. Uh, some of our results from some, some of the core has been close to 25 ounces per ton. Just the numbers are, are really, really dramatically different. Newfoundland is becoming a destination and, and it's related to that first drill hole that uh, Newfound Gold drilled in 2019. That really was one of the top drill holes. I haven't heard of any better than that since that time. Look at the plunge of the shoots that we're seeing form. Uh, they have a geometry very similar to the high grade at, at Fosterville. The beauty is we don't have to go a kilometer or a kilometer and a half down the ground to get there. These systems are going to be open-ended, probably down plunge. There's your upside. Okay, so this might be kind of like a gold mine you would have seen back in the 1980s. One that you start mining and you just recognize that there's going to be a natural growth to this over time. Newfound really had a, a kind of first mover advantage moving into the central Newfoundland Dell. When the company got involved here in 2015, we were at the bottom of the gold cycle and properties were readily available that perhaps otherwise may not have been available on the market. The company's team has managed to create quite a valuable land package through the consolidation of these fragmented blocks. What do we have elsewhere in the property? Lotto looks like it's a, a replication of the Keat zone. We're seeing the same kind of geometry form where there's a hyper shoot like high grade zone forming. What we're seeing is a pattern emerge where you have a number of these high grade shoots forming on, in this case, on the east side of the Appleton. People say, well, could there be something on the west? Yes, there can be stuff on the west. We know there's till samples in areas on the west. And there's high grade, there's historic high grade surface samples and stuff. Is there anything further east? Yeah, there is. Guess what? <laughs> there is. It's these secondary structures that are around these major structures that we're looking at. Some of the world class prospectors, like the Keats family, stuck to their guns and decided hey, we do have world scale gold deposits here, and we're going to hold on to these things until someone recognizes it. And now we do. Here's uh, the hair barn that Naranda did. Okay. And so we have, uh, you can see we flew this area. We went to Second Hermes Pond. Cut up to the woods. Lo and behold, I never moved very far before I struck the, what we call the dome, which had the most spectacular goal. I've worked on projects in the territories where gold grades were, were, were very nice. Uh, you constantly saw gold in your rock. Here, we see a lot of gold in rock as well, but the grades are phenomenal, to the point where we've had to pull our core logging crews aside and say, guys, these are not common things to see in core. The amount of gold you're seeing is not typical of ore grade. It's high grade. We're seeing holes over and over and over and over again. 
of hundreds, if not even over a thousand gram meters. These holes are some of the best that have been drilled in the gold mining industry in exploration for many years. You go around the world and look at Kirkland Lake, you look at the Yellowknife Greenstone Belt, you look at uh, Fosterville in Australia, which we're being compared to, and look at where they were 80 years ago, 100 years ago. The guys were starting to get good hits for gold. We're there now. It's a wonderful situation to be in. It's not just the Keats something. This story is going to evolve. fact that Fosterville and the Eagle and the Swan Zone and these various ones are very, very rich zones. And I think that recognition and the similarities with this area, it's really made a difference. It's made people look at Newfoundland in new light. And obviously Newfound Gold is the main part of it. It's really changed the perception of Newfoundland as a place to look for gold.